Hello beautiful people. Today I'm going to be creating a brand new vision board for 2021. I've got my tools. I've got a big piece of foam board. Some foil letters. Thumbtacks. Glue. Some images I saved from Pinterest, as well as a couple of magazines. So, let's get started. By the way, if you're not already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button and the bell notifications right now. Thanks so much. Well, there's one other thing. Before you actually start to put anything on a board, it's a good idea to organize your thoughts. The best way to do that is with a journal and a pen. And just to write down exactly what you think you're gonna want during the next year. So you could start with just simple things like possession, something you might wanna buy or, or uh, a major goal that you'd like to achieve career-wise, but then just sort of divide up in all different areas, um, such as money, possessions, career, also spirituality, health, fitness, travel, anything that you think is important and areas that you'd like to see growth and change in your life, write it down. And then after you write it down, you go over everything that you've written. Think about how you can visually represent these things. And that's when you start making your board. Before starting on the 2021 board, I want to go over a few things that I put on my 2020 board. Just go over how it all worked out. I put the letters in black. This year, I think because I want this to be a golden year after 2020 was a little bit of a uh, I kind of think I'm gonna do them in gold. But one of the things I put, I am a money magnet. One of the things I put on my board was health. And looking at the crisis that the world was in this year, I'm extremely grateful right now that my family and myself all experienced really good health this past year. So that's something that I can kind of celebrate as gratitude. But one of the things I am uh, praying about, thinking about for this next year, is healing on a global scale and really an end to this virus. People can live healthy and be healthy. Another thing I had a special section for travel, and it's kind of funny that in February last year, we were planning a trip to Miami and a trip to Italy. And both of them were canceled due to the pandemic. So I'm gonna uh, transfer a lot of these items over to my current board in hopes that either 2021 or 2022 will be the years that some of this travel actually takes place. As well as a couple of new areas that I've decided I want to visit as well. Some of the other things, abundance. I put up here abundance and while my income increased this year when a lot of other people's decreased, I still have not realized the actual goals that I set up. So I'm kind of putting that on my target board again this year and I'm being more specific and more clear about the exact financial goals that I have. Uh, I put you know some things, I was just starting my YouTube channel last year. So I'm gonna carry over and extend that a little bit more. But anyway, I'm gonna take a few items from this board and transfer them for them over to the new board and then I'm going to put the rest of the board up in the closet so I can look back on it as a reference. You know there's a story about uh, John Asaroff and that he uh, was going over some old vision boards he made after a move and it, he looked at one of the old boards that was probably four or five years old and he saw on that board he had a picture of a house and the house that was pictured on that board was the house he was actually moving into now. So these things, they do work. And that's why you may not see something right away, but you should, you know, in, in a few years you may. So I enjoy doing one every year and I look at it at the end and figure out what goals were met, what goals I can improve on, what, and also in what areas my whole ideas have changed. There may be some things I really wanted last year that aren't as important to me this year. And there are new things that I'm inspired to do this year. Starting off my new vision board, 2021 in gold, gratitude, and I am a money magnet. Next, I'm going to line up the different areas I'm going to focus on. Travel, home, 
uh, career goals, business goals, and just personal accomplishments. And then spatter the whole area with positive affirmations, statements of faith, statements of uh, family, of gratitude, of appreciation, just other things that are important to me will be scattered throughout the board. Another little tip I have. Now this requires a basic minimum knowledge of some type of photo editing software. I personally use Photoshop Elements. You can also do this with GIMP. It also requires a website that you regularly go to where you monitor your results in a specific area. It can be social media, YouTube subscribers, Instagram followers, or it could be sales on a particular sales website, or possibly your bank balance. But if there's a site you regularly go to and you regularly check to see your status and you have basic photo editing skills, there's a little trick you can do and put it on your vision board to make you really believe that your goals have been achieved. First, take a screenshot of the area you want to edit. Then open the image in your photo editing app or your software package. Then you use your basic tools. You crop, select, copy, then uncrop, paste, move around, plus add text edit to arrange the numbers exactly the way you want to reflect your goal. You can put this on your vision board to make your mind really believe that you're going to get there and you're going to achieve that goal. And here is the finished product. I say finished product, but in reality it is a work in progress because I may change it from time to time. Usually mid-year I take a look at it, decide if I want to add something, take something away. I actually made a few changes last night due to uh, talking to my daughter and deciding what we really wanted to do for travel this year and what we were going to maybe wait for another year for, for. So this is what I'm working on right now. I also have another vision board on Pinterest, which is much easier to just add to any time you want. And that one is I'm constantly adding to, uh, removing, editing, changing the position of the pictures. A lot of things you can do with the Pinterest vision board. But this is something really nice. I like to hang it up where I can view it from my bed. And I look at it every day. I see it, you know, I can see it from my bed. I can see it when I'm going from my bedroom to the bathroom. So it's a great place for me to just look at it, be reminded of what I'm aiming towards and making it happen. Hey, if you made a vision board and you'd like to share it, uh, leave a link in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Have a fabulous day. Peace, love, and light.